Okay, we're ready out to try, ready to try out an idea. Remote arm number three, trying out an idea. So we've decided that we need room at that end to hold the, um, the remote arm. We need a lever at this end to give us that control. We're going to use a string to attach, although we haven't decided exactly where, and we're going to try that when we've got the fixed lever in position. So we're going to hold that in position with some tape. And then, can you see I've tried a couple of different positions for this. I decided that initially maybe we could have this lever pivoted at the very end, but then that stops you from using that end if you change your idea. So I thought, well, what's the difference? Let's just put it in there like that. And now when the jaw opens, we've got this movement at that end. Maybe that could be useful to us later. It might not be, but it gives us more options. So now what we've got to do is figure out how to attach the string, figure out how to more permanently attach these parts together. And this is where we're going to need the pencil as a drill. Now with balsa and with um, cora flute, we've just got to be careful and it's useful to have a piece of blue chuck when you use cora flute. So squash it down a little bit, look, place it on the top and then just push and twist. Peel it off, turn it round, through the same hole, push and twist. Now don't make the hole too big, it just has to be big enough for us to pop the paper fastener through. So that would be our pivoted um, cora flute strip for the lever that sort of is operated by hand. Now it's not quite the same for making the hole through the bolter, so decide which of the holes you're going to use, I'm going to go for that one. Now you can <coughs> use the piece of uh, blue tag again, but we've got to be careful this time because wood has a grain. It's sort of the way in which all the sort of um, cells in the wood are lined up. And you see these lines tell you about the direction of the grain. If we just push, we'll split it open. So it's not the same as plastic cora flute. So if, with this one, twist more gently, turn it round. Turn it round again. So I'm not pushing too hard. I'm just taking my time in order to create a big enough hole for the pivot. So there we go. Through it goes. Typical paper fastener action. Open it out at the back. And there's our lever. Now, at the same time, look, if we're going to pull on a string, let's make a hole. Now, these holes could be absolutely anywhere. We don't know. We don't know. So halfway between, perhaps, we might end up saying, well, look, we don't need all of this plastic. We might need to cut some of it off. So should we use the map pin first? Doesn't make it a bit easier if you use the map pin first. There we go. Turn it around. Now, putting the string through the hole, that's a tricky thing. If you try, if you make a massive hole in there, you'll get away with it, but try twisting it. Just made it, look, there we are. Now here's a tip, with string, look, don't tie a knot, don't tie a knot in it. Just pull the string through a little bit, bring it back out onto the top, and put a tiny piece of tape on it. So that's far too big. A tiny piece of tape. And then you can change its position later. So there we are. It looks a bit messy at the moment, but that doesn't matter. So that is our secured piece of string, which now it can pull. So can you imagine, there it goes, like that. So tape's fine, we can put a knot in it later. So let's have a look at this end. I think that needs to be round that way, doesn't it? Because that's where the moving arm's going to be. We could swap it in anyway. So now what we want to do is say, well, hang on a minute, a little bit of tape there. That's not good enough. Let's make this end more secure. Now we could use glue, but I wouldn't recommend it early on. I think we'll just use some more sticky tape on both sides. Whenever you use masking tape, it can be peeled off later, so no worries about it. But always rub it. And what that does is it just gets all the air from underneath it squeezed out and then it sticks really well. Fantastic for a first stage model. Here we go. Little bits of tape. Don't use great big bits of tape. You always 
get sort of stuck together with other things that they shouldn't and then stop things from working. Fantastic. There we go. So now let's go for this one. Now we can just see where that hole was. There it is, a tiny little pin prick. And we're going to go through the same procedure as before and then make this hole bigger. So there it goes. Swap it round. Twist it. That's that fastener. Same for this. Now great. When you're very near the end, look, we're much near the nearer the end of the piece of material and the edge of the material. So the chance of splitting it is now increased. So if we simply take our time with this, a little bit at a time, turn it round. Let's go, I think that's just about it. And I wasn't pressing very hard at all, but it's just enough to open out the hole. So let's pop the fastener in. I've got myself tangled up there. Pop the fastener in. There it goes. In goes the lever. And there it is being held. Fantastic. Well, now we've got another problem to solve, haven't we? We've got to try and work out the point of attachment for the string to make the lever operate. If we just try maybe that end, and we can try all these things, we just take take it apart and, and, and retry it. Can you see that we're going to have a couple of problems here? As the string goes through the plastic, it's going to form a bump on the other side, and that bump might well get caught against the wood as the lever moves. So that's a problem on the way. Now at this end, we've got more free space. We don't want to use the piece of string attached right up at the end because that starts to then interfere with uh, whatever we're trying to pick up. So if the object you were trying to pick up got caught in the string, that would be bad. So we don't want the string at that end. We don't want it at that end. Let's go for a point where it's clear of the wood. So maybe around about there. So I'll just make that mark on the other side. There it is, there. So we'll let you think about that one. Whereabouts are you gonna put the, um, the string and how is this going to operate?